sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Lone Star State and the very mammoth AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. Today, it's week three, and we've got a good one in store between the New Orleans Saints and the Dallas Cowboys. As of this morning, summer officially over. It's time for autumn football, and we're underway on EA Sports. From the six. And he won't quite make it to the 25. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Well, this defense for the Saints, much improved from week one. They were terrific last week in getting their guys their first win of the season. And what I saw on film was a nearly unstoppable pass rush. Five sacks last week, plenty of hurries given up. So now what do you do on offense? You just max protect, keep everyone in and run the ball, or maybe just one or two receiver routes in order to try and keep your quarterback upright. And now we're going to get a stoppage. A member of the Cowboys shaken up. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. Hey. And they'll look to avoid an early three and out here on third and four. Looking to throw. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Roquan Smith. And the Saints are going to take possession of the football. Well, short of them returning it for a pick six, that was about the worst start you could ask for in this one because your advantage of getting the ball first is gone, and they're set up a short distance from your end zone. Now you're counting on your defense to prevent a touchdown, and your offense, you better be ready to come out swinging on the next series. Coming out with a jumbo package to start the drive. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. That is complete downfield to Max. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. 23 yards, the final tally. Good job there of getting his tight end involved because he lines up on the right side of the formation, just works his way across the field. I really like how they were in sync on that one. He spotted the open gap in the zone, and his quarterback found him, and they get a first down. Now a first and 10 at the 11. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. time as they're able to get him down. Just a yard of the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a third and three. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. The quick slant caught. And he will have the first down, but he winds up taking a pretty good shot that time. They'll try to run this one in. And he takes it across and into the end zone. Touchdown, Saints. A great effort there. His third rushing touchdown on the year. And the Saints take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. 
no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others, where they think they have an advantage. Dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. First carry for Kenneth Gainwell. And he'll scratch out a yard up to the 30, and that's all. What an advantage having a elite guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself, as we just saw there. And for the Saints here on third down, an extra defensive back on the field. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. Oh, and the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. That looks like it's going to be two empty possessions now to start this football game. I think they're going to have to sit down and talk about what worked for them last week in their win. Sometimes you over game plan, overthink things, get back to what works. On fourth down, on is Corey Bohorquez to punt. But how about this, a fake? And this is caught, and the gamble pays off. They get the first. A big breakdown defensively there on the fake punt. Turns into a huge play and a first down. Okay, that was a fake punt, and it was successful throwing the football. I know you threw the football in your past off of a fake. Yeah, but unsuccessful back in my high school days. Old Tim Jones dropped it, hit him right in the numbers. But I'll tell you what, these guys, they love this opportunity, don't they? A chance to get involved. They certainly do, and many of them were quarterbacks or big-time players when they were in high school and college. So to get back doing what they did before, always fun. He was solid last week, over 100 yards in their victory on the ground. They want to get that going again. Absolutely. What they also understand is that from week to week, it's not necessarily the same, but they want it to be. Right? What they saw last week on the ground, they want to see in this game as well. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and it's second down. The Cowboys hit 2-0 here to begin the season, and they come in feeling pretty good after back-to-back -back victories, CD. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. First catch for him. It's good for a dozen and a first down. On play action, they'll throw. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Well, Brandon, we see why it's a team game there, because there's a sigh of relief that they just released defensively. If he's able to get that one away, that's likely a touchdown. But instead, that pressure from the front got to him and forced the incompletion. You're right. He had him open just a split second too late on the release. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Touchdown, Cowboys! Jarnell Mooney, his second touchdown on the season. And the Cowboys are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive that they watched the other side just score. But remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if they can seize that momentum right back. And they have had a lot of time to cool off from reaching the end zone the last time. So have they been able to keep themselves mentally sharp and into this game, even though they haven't been on the field? And you and I both know 
One big play, though, gets him right back up to that level. They're going deep for Hill. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. One thing that offensive guys stress when they throw the deep ball, you're just counting on your receiver to find it, adjust before the defensive back can get his head around. In this case, though, the DB matched it move for move and knocked it away. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A Saints first down there on a gain of 11. Charles, they won last week despite him not running the ball well. They told us need to get him going. Runs like that help. And they talked to us about leaning on him because, as you noted, last week they didn't have to. Still won the ball game. They leaned on other people to give them the yardage that they needed. But they really want him to be that guy. And that's what they're doing early in this game. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven. Leaves him with a second and three. Look at that game. Now a handoff running through the middle. And some solid footwork there as he'll take this down to about the 38. 43 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Brandon, watching their tape from last week, I saw plenty of plays like we just saw there, forcing incompletions. It was key in their win last week. They're hoping the same thing happens this time out, too. Shotgun handoff to Brown here. He's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had the incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. He is going to find Hill here. Touchdown, Saints. Tyreek Hill, 34 yards. And the Saints have taken the lead. Boy, just zero hesitation from the rookie passer there, partner. He is coming out firing in this opening quarter. And all the talk leading into this game was that pass rush talking about challenging this guy, getting into his grill, getting into his space. And how about him? Might be his first year in the NFL, but I don't see any fear in him at all. How about that big-time throw right out of the gate? About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. For this offense, Charles, remember the last time they were out here, marched it nearly the full length of the football field, and a lot of the attack went through the air, so now they're seeing if they can duplicate that performance. Okay, if I show my age a little bit, partner, because I can hear my high school coach, John Ford. I can hear his voice in my head. Laddie, when you put the ball in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. But the way the game's being played now, this is just part of what they do, so I don't think they should change anything at all. They've been dominant, keep throwing it around. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Through one corner, 14-7, our score. a first and 10 at the 38. One back in the backfield. He'll get the carry. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. 
as usual, the hallmark of a good run defense. Linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Now he'll look to throw here on second and 10. And this will be caught by Mooney. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. On third down, they're going to run for it here. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. They're going to try and throw. He finds his target. It's Schultz. And he is going to have the Cowboys first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Fourth and two. They got it. That was kind of that gray area. Is that a feel thing, whether you go run or pass there offensively? I think it's a feel thing. It's a tendency thing about what you like to do yourself on offense, as well as knowing how strong they are against the run on defense. Got to make a decision, and they made the correct one. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. And he's taken down here by the Saints. They push him back eight yards that time on second down. And every game we talk about what are going to be the keys as we go into it. Maybe that's a key for their defense today. Pressure the quarterback and make sure you play a good zone defense behind them and they get their first sack of the contest. He hits Mooney going across the middle. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 34-yard line. The defense shaking their heads, not aggressive enough, and they allow them to convert a third and 18. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 34. He'll look to throw. And he whips that one incomplete there. So it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. They'll try and run this one right up the gut. And not even back to the line of scrimmage this time as they're on him quickly once more. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Lewis Seen, and the Saints will take over here just shy of the 30. Partner, have you ever heard the story of Icarus in mythology? That's the guy who flew too close to the sun and had his wings melted. That was our guy right there. He keeps pressing it and pressing it. Finally, on that throw, he paid the price with that turnover. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. Well, this offense looks like they have a little extra pep in their step as they take the field here for drive number three because remember, Charles, drives one and two both ended in the end zone. Yeah, and right now they've just got to be careful not to lean into overconfidence because every drive has a life of its own. But I like the way that they've started, the way that they're going about doing things right now. They've got a chance for that third consecutive touchdown, and that would be a crushing blow to the defense. down they'll go to the ground attack and so well, he's free going down the left side it's a foot race touchdown New Orleans well, CD that's his second touchdown already and how about this offense three drives three touchdowns an absolute total team effort right now and let's face it 
I don't think he's done. We're still in the first half. There's a lot of time left to go. I don't know what they're going to do on the other side trying to slow him down. But right now, he's feeling it. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And it's now 21-7. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. This will be fielded inside the five. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive. He's got a man complete. 20. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Jarnell Mooney with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Cowboys are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. Gay is on for the point after. It's up and good. This becomes a 21-14 ball game now. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. Right now, everything they touch turns to gold. This is their fourth possession. Touchdowns on their first three possessions. I mean, this defense, they can't seem to stop them. It's like they're on skates. Great analogy, Brandon, because they are pushing them back and winning everything at the line of scrimmage. They've just been laying down tracks towards the opposite end zone. So to themselves, all they're saying is, if we don't make a mistake, there's no way they can stop us. The end result, 21 yards. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. down they'll go to the ground attack and he's got this one across midfield in the cowboy territory 112 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half eight yards the gain on that last run here's second and a couple a throw over the middle taken in and he's going to have another first down here as the tackles made at the cowboys 23 hands it off out of the gun that he's brought down, but he has it down to the 12 on a pickup of 12, first and 10. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Now a handoff looking right, and nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. The Saints gonna call the first of their timeouts. As the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. Second and ten. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown. A 12-yard touchdown run. And the Saints will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. We saw so much of this last year at the college level, but there you go, his first rushing touchdown as an NFL quarterback. And with the speed he has, we certainly know it won't be his last because that's something that aided him very well, as you mentioned, at the college level. It's something he's going to carry over, and they'll make it a big part of their offense. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. 
And that'll be a little too hot to handle as it will skip through the end zone for a touchback here. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And with him down two scores, you wonder if they might try and put something together, even if it's just to get into field goal range. And he'll be out right at the 35. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Back to throw here. And that is incomplete. Uh, with a rookie quarterback out there, you're definitely going to find out how he handles adversity because this one so far hasn't gone according to plan. He's got to fight through it and show him what he's made of. An incomplete pass on second down leads us to third and inches. This time they stay on the ground. And he's going to have a first down, but not sure it'll matter as the clock will continue to run. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Complete to Mooney on the slant. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Back to throw now on first down. And that is incomplete. 16 seconds now on the clock. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earn a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. And that's going to be incomplete. 12 seconds left. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. Now play number seven of the drive as they're looking at a third and ten. They'll look to throw again. That'll be incomplete with nine seconds now showing on the clock. I think it's safe to say that he's made some questionable decisions out there so far. Forced some throws into tight coverage. He's already been picked off in this game. Fourth down now, but he's fourth down that one. Not to have another turnover on his ledger. And now this ball picked up in the end zone. Remember, this is a live ball. They'll throw now on the final play. Alave holds it in. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. So we have come to halftime in what's already a two-touchdown game. As we send John over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Set now to go for the third quarter. The Saints have the lead and set to receive the kick. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Touchback. 
The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And they've got the lead CD. What do you expect from them in the second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I'd keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. Here's a second and two now from the 33. From the gun, they'll try to run it. Evades the tackler, and now some space. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 153 yards for him on the ground now, as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. They'll give this up the middle to Brown. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back, and he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. Good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. And here's a handoff out of the gun. And brought down, but not before he was able to break the tackle and the extra effort moves the sticks. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? Lob has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. Ready. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Nicky Bison, Nicky Bison. They'll look to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. Now play number eight on this drive, and they need nine yards to pick up the first on third. In motion, the tight end. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And he'll get this into the hands of Hill, complete. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 13-yard line. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards to play. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And here he'll get it down to the seven. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Stop just outside the five at the six. Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. They're in a pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves, start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. 
And I don't see why that trend would change now. They'll go to the air here on third and two. Touchdown! Tyreek Hill with his second touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. And the Saints take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Cowboys, 14. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. This will be fielded inside the five. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as these guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And their halftime hole now even deeper. And they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger. But no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing. And try and get back to where you were to start the half. Back to throw now on second and 10. He finds his man complete. That's Schultz. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert on third down. And they'll let their fullback try and push the pile. And they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. One yard is the game. And that leads to a Dallas first down. Third and inches, they just hand it to the big battering ram there. That's, I mean, that's football 101, isn't it? That's bread and butter. Turn around, hand it to the big fella, and let him get forward for a first down. Now here's a throw that's complete. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. It's a gain of 16 in the Dallas first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I think it's pretty evident. We can say what a difference a week makes. Last week, he ran pretty much wild, didn't he? Did pretty much what he wanted to do. But this one, they've stopped him cold. That, to me, that's good scouting and even better execution. Yeah, and they stopped him behind the line right there. They obviously watched the tape a few times and made some adjustments. He's got his man, Schultz, coming across the formation. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he'll be brought down just outside of the 30. 42 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little... Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down.
Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Schultz. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then of course they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Second and six. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Schultz. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. They'll look to make it three for three on third down conversions. They need a yard here. Here's a give up the middle. Call it no gain that time, and they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. This defense, tough to run against. And those linebackers, they'll go side to side up the field, and there they get them for no gain. If you can't get linemen upfield to the second level to occupy them, they have a field day just running to the football and putting ball carriers on the ground. Not many yards after contact when they wrap up like that. And he is going to have the Cowboys first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. And yes, everyone, that was the fullback carrying the football. I know it's a dying breed. It's a dying position for a lot of people. But I still think it's valuable and important, especially one who can carry the ball. And you need short yardage. What makes sense? Go to a big body. Let him plow. Forward. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Kenneth Gainwell. His first touchdown of the new season. And the Cowboys have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Here's Gay now to add the extra point. And the lead will be cut down to 14. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. Kenny Nwagu now out of his end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. That's good for 28 yards. Partner, I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because to me, this drive is what is known as a put-away drive. You score here, that might put this one to bed. I like the fact that they're playing with confidence and not playing with fear. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he's got this one across midfield into Cowboy territory. Well, Jerry is Sneed up to make the play defensively. Now, I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And now a fumble. The ball's out. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. Partner, that would look like it was over. I mean, they had control, had the football, 
and the defense had to make a play in order to keep them in the game. That's exactly what they did. And now that door ajar, two-score game, so hold on here, not done in the fourth. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They trail by two scores in the fourth, and their defense did its job getting the fumble recovery. And time to see what this offense has left in the tank. That's a gain of four as we slip inside of four minutes left in regulation. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown, so a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. And he's certainly not a guy that drops that football very often. Indeed, because that's a bit of a surprise. I know he's in the middle of some traffic and people, bodies all around him, but he usually has the focus to haul that one in. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. That's complete to Mooney. And he is going to have the Cowboys first down as they manage to convert. And that will keep the drive alive. The time to pull out the stops is now. And they convert there on fourth down. Again, he'll drop to throw. And this is intercepted. And that should do it. Picked off by Marshawn Lattimore. And the Saints are going to have it here just past the 25. Certainly not what he was hoping for, Charles. That's now three interceptions in this ballgame. But there's a lot of knowledge to be gleaned every time you throw an interception if you do things the right way. And hasn't there been a pretty darn good quarterback along the way who threw a lot of interceptions early, learned from them, became great later? Who would that be? That'd be one Peyton Manning through 28 his rookie year. That's the NFL record. How things turn out for him? I think okay. He's a guy in all the commercials now, right? <laughs> yeah, I think he's doing okay. They go play action here on first down. Throwing left side, it's complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A good pickup there, 21 yards. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and tell him to go like turtle at this point. You can just go ahead and play. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. On oh, a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. Let's go. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Saints football as we get you reset. And no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with a win. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. A full five-yard loss that time. It's going to make second down pretty tough. When this offense gathers to watch the tape, they're going to like a lot of what they saw. They put up big numbers, but they might fast-forward through that last play. Oh, there won't be any fast-forwarding, partner. I've sat in those sessions before. You end up spending more time on the bad plays than you do on the good ones. It's just the nature of coaches. But I know sitting in that room, when you've had a big game, the night that they've had, you don't want to hear that. You just want to focus on the good stuff. Rolling to his left. He's got his target. It's the tight end, Knox. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. 
They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he is in for the score. Touchdown, New Orleans. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Saints are looking to make it two straight as they add on to this fourth quarter lead. And this win now going to look a little more lopsided on the scoreboard, CD. Now, some may have run out the clock in that scenario, but they wanted to put their foot on the gas, get one more touchdown, and they did just that. Well, partner, I would say the traditional is not overly excited about that score. They'd like to see the game played a little bit differently. But what you can't argue with is their execution of that play because it played out exactly as it was drawn up. It almost would have been a shame not to finish with such a well-run play. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. Their mini two-game win streak appears it might be going by the wayside unless they can pull a rabbit out of their hat. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Decent start to the drive, but let's face it, they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time, hopefully with a chance to win? Over the middle, hauled in by Lamb. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in the football game. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll look to throw for it on third and one. And this will be caught by Mooney. And here come the whistles and a timeout with seven seconds left. Going old reliable there to the slot on third down. And the slot position has become the bane of just about every defense's existence because how do you cover? Do you go with a bigger guy to try and use size? Can I go with a, try go with a quicker guy and sometimes even get out quick there? Very difficult to match up with that slot receiver. That's why they keep going back to him. And he's had the hot hand. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. One final shot, they'll look to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And he's going to go down as time has now run out on this game. Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea where the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish. So for New Orleans, it's back-to-back -back victories now after the week one defeat as they move to two and one. And they'll have another road date next week with the Los Angeles Rams. Meanwhile, for the Cowboys, they too will exit with a two and one record. And they'll look to get back in the winning column next week as they head to Philly to face off with the Eagles.